But the only way forward is to keep going. Yes, sir. Hmm. Come on now. <laughs> so it's not I obey him yesterday. Hmm. You are obeying him continuously. Keep going. The only way forward is to what? Keep going. Some people grab one miracle and fled. The miracle became an obstacle subsequently. The only way forward in your walk with God is to keep going. We had some breakthroughs in Kuala in those days. It's breakthrough. Because when you start from zero and it's now 10, it's now 20, it's now 50, it's now 100, that's breakthrough. And we had some level of breakthrough in Kaduna and it was... Um, Everything God does is great. It was very great in, in our side. Amen. Amen. And our right get down to Lagos was not the best instruction to receive at that time, but we did. And then what is breakthrough in Kaduna compared with what we saw in Lagos? Now, and he said, now, come to the forest. What is the breakthrough in Lagos compared to this forest? The only way forward is to keep going. Many retire so soon. <laughs> The only way forward is to keep going. With the kind of thing we saw in Rajioba, which we call Kapanom, we shouldn't move. <laughs> the only way forward, I was a tighter yesterday, I used to be a tighter today. You see, you see, that's why we are seeing what we are seeing. <laughs> the only way forward, come on now, say that with me, the only way forward in my work with God is to keep going, is to keep following, is to keep following. <laughs> our making is in following. When we stop following, our making stops. Follow me and I'll make you. Matthew 4, 19. Follow me and I'll make you. Follow me and I'll make you. When you stop going to work, what happens? Your pain stops. Your allowance stops. All different benefits of service stops because you stopped. Can I hear your amen? amen? Grace to keep following in season and out of season. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Amen. The prophetic focus for the month as read just now is financial dominion is my heritage in Christ. The anchor scripture, he became poor, that with his poverty might be made rich. Second Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 9. He became poor, that with his poverty might be made rich. So wealth is not our ambition, it's our birthright. Jesus paid the price to bail us out of poverty and penury. Jesus paid the price, thereby making it our birthright. So wealth is not your ambition, it's not my ambition. It's not a doctrine of this church. Wealth is the birthright of the redeemed of the Lord. But my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. They don't know what belongs to them, so they can't tell when it's robbed of them. And we, brethren, as Isaac was, we are the children of promise. Galatians 4, 28. So, we belong to a family tree of blessing, a family tree of financial dominion. We share a common heritage with Abraham. He said, hearken unto me, ye that follow after righteousness, look to Abraham your father. Isaiah 51, verse 1 to 3. And the son of the beard I called him alone, and I blessed him. For the Lord shall comfort Zion. He shall comfort all our waste places, he will turn our wilderness into Eden and our desert into the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be had in her and um, thanksgiving and the voice of melody. So that's our lot in redemption. The turning of our wilderness into Eden 
Amen. Amen. And our desert into the land of the Lord. That's the word of fortune. A word of fortune. Everybody is out of their wilderness this month. Amen. The wilderness of lack and want. Amen. The wilderness of penury. Amen. The wilderness of begging to eat. Amen. The wilderness of wearing rags. Everybody, no matter your state today, you are ordained for a dramatic change of story in this area. Yeah. And you are in a church that does not know lack. You belong to the family of God, the family of super abundance in heaven. Then you are privileged to connect with his operation on earth in this local assembly where they know no lack and are never under any financial stress. Ah. You better connect. There is no, there are no pretenses here. There are no pretenses here. God's grace is just sitting on the congregation. And you're a member of this place. May that grace locate you and rest upon your life. You went out yesterday to those areas where we did medical outreaches. I mean, it's in millions and multi-millions by the grace of God, by his supplies. My God. And then you have churches being built all around the world. At the same time, you have the mammoth project of the ark, like the ark of Noah. Amen. And then what is so stress-free. The remaining days of your life, you shall remain financially stress free. Yes, that was a very powerful video there by Bishop David Oedipo. You are welcome to the commentary section of this video. We make powerful analysis about what the preacher was talking about. Today's video basically is talking about financial prosperity and it's going to be an amazing moment before she will be we'll be sharing some content on financial prosperity because um, we need to understand what God's plan for us is on financial prosperity. And on this right, God surrounds you with the same ones to us part of financial prosperity. I'm sure you're going to be blessed by this. Don't forget to like our videos, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so that anytime we drop videos, you can always see our content. We also want to appreciate our returning viewers and subscribers that are coming to watch our videos. You guys are amazing. God bless you.